Hey there, it's Professor S, and for the next five minutes or so, I want to talk to you about chemical reactions. But I want to talk about them from the standpoint of a biology course, an introductory biology course, where our goal isn't to learn to balance equations, it's to learn what chemical reactions are in a very basic sense and how that has an impact on the lives of cells, and by extension, the lives of all living things. Uh, chemical reactions are processes in which chemical bonds are broken and formed. We have a starting substance that is converted into an ending substance through this process of breaking and forming chemical bonds. We call the starting substances reactants. We call the ending substances products. And there is a transformational effect. We don't say reactants equals product. It's always with the arrow because the arrow indicates transition or transformation. The reactants become the products through the breaking and forming of chemical bonds, we basically could then describe a chemical reaction as the conversion of reactants to products through the breaking and forming of chemical bonds. Now, I wanna go over two examples in this video of types of chemical reactions we encounter fairly frequently in biology. Now, in this first reaction, we're gonna start with these five small reactants here. Let's see what happens when I put them together. So in the chemical reaction we just saw, we started with a bunch of small reactants and ended up with one larger product. This is what's called a synthesis reaction. In synthesis reactions, a relatively small number of larger product molecules are produced through the combination of a large number, relatively large number, of relatively small reactant molecules. That's a synthesis reaction. In cells, this is a kind of reaction that would be used for constructing molecules like protein, uh, like DNA, and any of a number of other biologically important molecules. Let's go check out a different reaction. For the second reaction, we're going to start with a single larger reactant molecule. Let's see what happens when I fiddle with it. Now what we saw this time was a case where a single large molecule reactant was broken into smaller but more numerous pieces. This is what's called decomposition reaction. In a decomposition reaction, a relatively larger number of smaller product molecules are produced through the breakdown of a relatively small number of larger reactants. Decomposition reactions are all about breaking substances down. That's very important in cellular energy transfers. And in fact, there's actually some more things I could tell you about synthesis and decomposition reactions, but let's save that for another five minutes. Before we go, because this is a bit short for one of my videos, I want to say just a little bit more. I do have a whole other five minute video to talk about synthesis and decomposition in more detail, but right now I just want to emphasize what is the basic idea of synthesis and decomposition using a model. Synthesis and decomposition, building and breaking down, right? This is an organic molecule. Doesn't matter what it is, but broke a bond, decomposition. Broke another bond, more decomposition breaking down into smaller pieces. Now, synthesis, forming bonds, synthesis, building bigger structures from smaller pieces. That's synthesis and decomposition, and I'll see you in another five minutes to talk more about these particular types of chemical reactions.
doing here? I'm helping. Helping how? Oh, we'll show you. Hey, Squish, what do you get when you cross an elephant with a rhinoceros? I don't know what. Elephant, I know. Why did the scarecrow scarecrow win an award? Ooh, I don't know. Why did the scarecrow win an award? Because it was outstanding in its field. Squish. Why was the Avatar so depressed three years after beating the Fire Lord? I don't know. Why? Really bad teen angst. They stop. What do you call a fake noodle? Ooh, what do you call a fake noodle? An imposter. Hey, Al, big Al. What? What's black and white and red all over? No. A newspaper? A uh, penguin with diaper rash. A skunk in a blender. Zebra with a sunburn. Just, just finish this. Oh, fine. Hey, this is Professor S. If you enjoyed that, here's a couple other videos you might like. Don't forget to like and subscribe and ring the bell. Cut.